Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Friday, June 17th, 2022. We're here for day four of the U.S. versus Joshua Schulte trial for allegedly leaking Vault 7 to WikiLeaks. Now, yesterday, Schulte continued his uh, cross-examination of the FBI agent who arrested him, Ivanchek. Uh, and some it turns out Ivanchek was, had, had testified on direct that uh, how many searches Google News how many Google searches um, Schulte had made for WikiLeaks. Uh, Schulte pointed out that, which I didn't know, uh, that, that if you have Google News alerts, that shows up as a search. And number two, he said, weren't there a lot of things going on, like the DNC emails, like, uh, he mentioned Guccifer too, and Judge Furman asked Ivanchek, do you know what that is? And he said, I don't. He's in charge of counterintelligence uh, for the FBI, or so he was, I don't know. Now, the rest of it went sealed. It was a sealed courtroom. Uh, 15A, uh, after fighting for some access, there were supposed to be pool reporters. Two pool reporters admitted. I was there, um, uh, wrote a report afterwards. Uh, a man, and his name was said in open court, so that is public. Anthony Leonis, actually, I think he's already public. Anthony Leonis is a, was the supervisor of Schulte, and he described a sort of stations of the cross, step by step, thrown out of his cubicle to another floor, cut off the password, still had a password, tried to cut off all the passwords, and where they left it was uh, where they thought they'd cut him entirely off, but apparently he still had a key. So today's going to be the Schulte cross-examination, and I'm going to be live-tweeting that, so watch for that. Uh, in financial news, uh, Toronto Dominion First Horizon, Senators Warren and Representatives uh, Porter, Katie Porter and Chewy Garcia, have written to the OCC asking for review of consumer uh, protection violations. They should write to the Fed, and the Fed should do more than uh, they've done, for example, on Citigroup, still doing business in Russia, etc. Now, the United Nations today will celebrate sexual violence and conflict. Yes, you heard it right. A day of sexual violence and conflict for an organization that sends peacekeepers to commit rapes in the DRC, CAR, Haiti, and then refuses all of the inner city press's questions about it and bans it. That's the United Nations for you. To be continued.